solve this problem, it will only worsen it. Baby, I understand perfectly. But I am the one wearing these shoes and I know where it pinches. Baby, that's where you got it all wrong. I'm your husband, remember? Okay, we're in this together. And I'm also concerned. But I'm consoled by the fact that children are going to come at the right time. We don't give children. Nobody gives children. Baby, I know you're concerned. But I am a woman, and it's the women that feel it the more. Maybe I'm bothered. I know. But look, there are also many people out there facing similar situations, so... I am not concerned about people. I am concerned about myself. I know, but if you always remember the fact that you're not alone, there are also other people out there. It will calm you down. <laughs> Some water to drink. That's not a problem. Right away, man. Come on, yeah? Come on, let's go. How are the people in the village? They are very fine. They are okay. We thank God. Okay. Mama, I know you must be tired and hungry. Look, we have a lot of things in the kitchen. Just name it and I'm at your service, Mama. My daughter, 
Rushing the food now will not, will not be of any use. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I came to stay for a weekend. And I have every time to eat whatsoever thing I want to eat. So for right now, I need rest. Hmm? Whenever you want to eat it, and whatever you want to eat, tell me. <laughs> and I'll be at your service, Mama. Don't worry no yourself. Problem, no problem, but Mama, for now, eh? Mm. Let me take your things to your room. Then I'll get you a cold glass of juice. Mm. Is that okay, Mama? I'm waiting. Okay, Mama. Okay. Mama, Mama, yeah. oh, Mama. the little girl you used to know, you know. Really? Mm -hmm. Look at her. Hey. Mama, pass. Hey. <laughs> Save me. Who are you? You too. You're a big girl now. Mm -hmm. Where are you coming back from? From school. Welcome. Hey. What is it that Angela is feeding you people? <laughs> Please, whatever is feeding you people, you should reduce so you people are overcoming your face. <laughs> I want to stay with Mama a little bit. You want to stay with Mama a little bit? Allah, remember. Remember, it's my mother, not yours. <laughs> Are you jealous? Mama, come, let us speak to you. I missed you. Are you sleeping? Stay with me. Why are you just stop this? Why are you so okay? Lula. As my only child. I am so much worried and concerned about this childlessness of yours. It changes my mood each time I remember that this marriage still had nothing to show for. That is why I decided to come, to know how far you've been going about it. Hmm. Well, Mama, um, I'm not really doing anything about it because there is actually nothing to do. I cannot kill myself. I'm waiting for the right time so I will have children. You see, you see my son, it pisses me off any time we want to talk about this. You kept telling me about waiting for the right time. Don't you know that time waits for no man? And besides, children are the blessing and joy of every marriage. So what are you talking about? You're right, Mama. But for me, I see a peaceful home first. If you have a peaceful home, then you have children, beautiful. But if you have children without a peaceful home, you're going to have problems. In my own case, I have a peaceful home already. Children will come. The worst is this. I don't even see the born again in you that makes you to have this kind of hope. Eh? Mama. <laughs> and who says you have to be a born again before you can have hope? Patience begets hope. So. Sure. You now feel that the patience you have is not yet okay for you. You've not had enough patience for all these solid years. Is that what you want to tell me? Patience comes to an end when your dream comes true. And so, how can these dreams of yours or dream of yours come true when you refuse to work for it? How can it work? Um, uh, and who says I'm not working for it? Huh? I may not be doing things your own way, that doesn't mean I'm not working for it. Maybe that's your problem. You want me to do things your own way. But... Oh, mama. See, eh? See? My son, I don't care which ever way. I don't care and I don't bother. All I need you to do is for you to listen and listen good. I and your father suffered so much to have other children after you. It proved abortive. We gave you all the necessary support that led to your success today. 
as for you to get married as their only son. We decided to hope in you to fill the family before he died. And my dear, if you do not give me my grandchildren before my own time, I won't be happy with you. Have I made myself clear? The sooner you go about it, the better for all of us. Because my patient is lost. Good night. Oh yeah. I'm like someone in the middle of the road. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. I'm the fun there. Oh God. I'm a mobile I told you that women are the ones to be blamed. You see what I'm saying? You see? See what? Have I blamed you for our situation? Your mother is indirectly laying the blames on me. Please, baby, I beg you. Do what she says, please. Baby, there is nothing we can do about this. I'm sorry. Your mother says she wants to see her grandchildren before she dies, and I don't want anyone laying any curse on us, especially your mother. Thank you. Just make her happy. Baby, please. I support you getting a second wife, just like your mother rightly said. Excuse me. Excuse me. What did you just say? Dare you say such a thing? And who's been feeding you with such 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 ideas? I just know this will be an exact reaction. I don't want your mother to lay any cause on me or any of us. Just make her happy. Just do what she wants, please. Thank you. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I will not do what you just asked for. I will not take another woman, another wife. Never. And I do not want to have this discussion again.
angel that I know. How are you doing? Well, I'm fine. Thank God. Everything we have, we thank God. You're right, my sister. But, Angela, this your face is not looking bright at all. What is the problem? No, nothing. Everything is fine. Are you sure? Truly, everything is fine. I was actually on my way to the salmon, so, and I was even thinking of coming to your house. Coincidence, you see? Are you serious? Yes. What a coincidence. I was also waiting for a cab to go to the salon. Oh, really? Why don't you happy? Let's go together then. All right, thank you. <laughs> Keeping you for opening the gate for me all this while. Sorry, sorry, Miko. Uh, 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 what did you buy for me? What did I buy for you? Yes. It's enough food you're eating, and you're looking for what I need. Of course. Okay. I bought myself. Ah, I don't understand you. You mean you buy yourself for me? Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, don't you want to eat? If you go, Amaka. Yeah. Yeah, that's If you go, Amaka. Hey. you carry your child since you're making it. Says who? Eh? I say says who? When do you start doing the negotiation? Is there anything wrong with helping you to carry your child? Why 
all you're doing with your hair. Madam, why are you talking to her like that? Do you know her? Yes, I do. I know her. Who doesn't know Angela in Angela in this area? Eh? Why would she help me carry my hair? Does she know what when you want us to Madam, may God forgive you for saying this. May God forgive you for putting your mouth in a matter that does not concern you. Look at them. This is the best time to discuss anything that is important. I so much thank God and I'm so happy the way you are staying with your husband. The way you are living with him. Jessica is my daughter. Why Stephanie is your sister. And all of you are making a very good home. Cause of your humble self. Mama, I want to thank you too. I also want to appreciate Jessica and Stephanie for their cooperation and understanding. Honestly, I'm amazed at their level of maturity. I owe them my happiness too. Mama, thank you. Thank you, my daughter. One more thing. You see Ben, my son? Yes, Mama. He's my only son. The father died some time ago and I wouldn't want the family lineage to wipe off just like that. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. We need a child in this house. All I'm saying is that we need a baby in this house. Mm. God that gives children. My daughter. Mama. I am not blaming you for that. But I know there are other ways we can sort it out. Oh, Mama. There are two options here. That any family can go about it. The first option, either the family decide or have intention of adopting a child in the home. And I don't think I buy the idea of an adoption. Why the second option is either the family member may decide to get a second wife. Are you listening? So my daughter, I need buying my son to get a second wife. You still have your right as a first wife. The peace and unity that is existing in this family. I wouldn't mind taking the second wife with me staying at home at the village. I need a grandchild. Mama. Mama, thank you very much. I've hit you. <laughs> I would like to go to bed. Good night. 
But I want to tell you, it's a benefit for every one of us. I want you to understand. Please, my daughter. Thank you. Okay, Papa. Sister Angela, you should stop crying because there's nothing our Lord Jesus Christ cannot do. His gift comes at his own appointed time. Remember Sarah in the Bible when she lost all hope completely. The Lord Jesus Christ visited her and wiped away her tears. So keep on praying and hoping that one day your joy shall no longer. Did you hear the pastor? Pastor, there is nothing I have not told her. Pastor. Anywhere I go, people mock me. Even in my own home, I am being disturbed. Pastor. I am barren. No, Sister Angela. God did not create his own children to be barren. Like I've said before, he does his own things at his own time. Even the Bible made us to understand in the book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 10. It says, And they that know thy name will put their trust in him. For thou, O Lord, hast not forsaken him that seek you. So keep on praying. The Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We, your children, have come to you in your presence. Yes, Father, we pray that this day shall be a day of joy. Amen. A day of new beginning. Amen. Your joy shall be found in Jesus. Amen. You shall be blessed. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine though. If we're gonna move. <laughs> oh, welcome. How was your journey? It was fine, thank God. How is your husband? I hope he's finer than you. He's fine, he's doing good. Mama, how is your health? <sighs> Ada. Any day I see a new dawn, I give glory to the Almighty. Mama, you look good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Mama. Oh, I'm sure you must be hungry. And I brought you. Oh, ah! Oh! God will bless you, my Thank daughter. You. Oh! Oh! This is very fine. Thank you! So, Mama, that's the long story. I have done virtually everything, and nothing seems to be working. Mama, I'm just confused. <laughs> just confused. No. No, you shouldn't be. Huh? You shouldn't be. If I tell you I don't know how it feels, I'll be lying to you. I know how it feels to be in a marriage for so many years without a child to show for it. But just calm down and put your trust in God. You will have children. Mama. <laughs> My husband and I are under serious pressure from the mother. 
I don't have a problem with him getting a second wife. No. But, but each time the mother comes visiting, it's like I'm the cause of the whole problem. <laughs> don't say that. How can you be the cause? You've been having miscarriages. That shows you're not barren. Since you... Come on now, you cannot be barren. You will soon conceive. Trust in God. It's okay. You will have children. You will have a lot of children. God will give you children. There are some women who have never been pregnant in their lives. Yet God gave them children. Why will God not give you children? Just wait for his time. Okay? You will do it. Just calm down. Calm down. I want to go to the farm, but I'm waiting for the sun to go down. Ah, it's too much. Mm. Uh, Mama, mm. let me start leaving for the city. Johnny Messi is No matter what happens to you, place your trust in God. Oh? Mama, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Always remember everything you Ah, Uncle. My dear. Hey. Ah, good afternoon, sir. How are you? Okay, okay. No. How are you? I'm fine. Hmm. All right. I'm fine, sir. I thank you very well. You're on your way to the city. Um, please sit down. Give it to your husband when you go to the city. Wow. I know he likes pan wine a lot. Okay, sir. Hey. You're always disturbing yourself over mm -hmm. gifts to give to them. And every time my daughter comes home, you must look for something to give her. <laughs> this pan wine now. You would have just sold it to make some money. Oh, no, 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 no. This is just a token compared to what our, our in-law does for us. Okay. Eh? Please, when you reach the town, greet him for me. Eh? I wish you safe journey. Thank you, sir. Journey, mercy. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, and a very good man as well. Yeah, he is. You know, he knows you too well. If you see the way he, he insisted I took this pan wine, you would think that you grew up in his house. I'm telling you. Well, you will not blame him. A good in law is a good in law. <laughs> I'm a good in law. Oh, you are, darling. <laughs> hey, 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 girls. Take it easy with this thing. It was sent to me, eh? especially for me and not you. Too easy. Especially you, Stephanie. Remember, you're a student and also a woman. You're not supposed to take alcohol. Mm. Hmm? Just go down. You people have done justice to this. Yeah. <laughs> it's mm. nice, yeah? All right, on that note, girls, let me sign out. Yes, I had a very hectic day at the office. So let me go. I know that. See you girls tomorrow. I'll be with you shortly. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Uh, Good night. 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 Good to be consoling her. So I might have to go to the city soon. In that case, it's a good idea. 
I have to be on my way now. Uh, are you going straight to the meeting? Yes. But I have to see Mama Ibuka before going. I have an appointment with her. Biko, let me give you my dues money so that you can pay for me, oh? Tell him. Caro, Caro. <laughs> Mwano, oh, bye bye. Thank you. comes visiting, the, the pressure she mounts on you, it really gets to me, baby. Don't worry about my mother, I can handle her. No, baby, I'm a woman. I know, I know what it feels like. Baby, please, just, just do it. I will support you. Please. Oh. Baby. I've always done anything you ask me to do. In fact, everything. All because I want to guarantee your happiness. Mm -hmm. This will be the first time I will disappoint you. No. Baby, you promised me that you always see me happy. Yes, I promised. And this particular time, this time, I say it again. No. Baby, I want happiness to be your study my clothes. I want to be happy. Baby, baby, there's more to happiness than what you're asking for. Okay? Just think about it. Please. Alright, fine. I'll think about it. Are you happy now? Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Yes, please. Yes, I love you too. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love I think we'll have to stop this thing now. Before my brother comes back from work, I'll meet us running around the compound. Your brother? Mm hmm. I thought he's your sister's husband. And he is Jessica's brother. Yes, he's my sister's husband, but I still call him brother. Ah. Uh, uh, Stephanie. Red, something I want to tell you. Very serious. Uh, what could that be? Hey. Hey. I, I like you so much. Uh, you know, each time I see you, uh, uh, my body. <laughs> you like me? Uh, yes. <laughs> mm, thanks for liking me. Can I go now? Hey. But you have not said anything. Stop. 
Ah, uh, Ben. You sang a soldier on the phone. What is the matter? Hmm. Um, Alex. How would you feel if you wake up one morning and find out that your wife is making you go against your wish? Well, it depends on what she wants. It's something I can do. Why not? I will do it for her. But it's something I can do. No, it would definitely be my answer. So, why do you ask? My wife and my mother. They're asking me to take another wife. Wow. <laughs> That's a fantastic one. If your wife can come up with such an idea, I think you should you jump at it. I, I'd be happy, my, my brother. But my friend, you don't even understand. Oh, ben, come on, tell me. What is there for me to understand? That a wife cannot conceive and she wants to bring in another woman who will conceive and give you children? Oh, come on, I expect you to, to grab the offer and be happy. Make yourself happy, my brother. Look, the problem is she's making me go against my wish. She wants me to do something I, I, I don't intend to do. Oh, Ben, you're sounding as if you're the one that is imposing this, this idea on her. No, she came up with the idea. Why not grab it, do whatever she wants you to do, make yourself happy, and also make her happy. Look, if I'm in your shoes, honestly, I will jump at the offer. That is gospel truth. Going against your wish cannot guarantee happiness. At all. You'll only be sad. You, you end up regretting the whole thing. You can't. Then, you look for alternative. <laughs> the only alternative is just to be patient. That's the one I know. Patience only work when one person is involved. But when two persons are involved, I'm sorry, pressure definitely going to step in. And that's exactly what you're passing through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's alright. Um, but since we got to yours first, why don't you accompany me a little further? <laughs> no, 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 no. Some other time, okay? As you can see, the sun is too intense. No problem. I've heard you. You always say that the sun is too intense. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. Well, mine is still down the road. It's stone tree anyway. Okay, this way? Yeah, down there. But all the same, see it's my right lesson center. Alright then. <laughs> and don't forget to come with my test book tomorrow. I will not. Thank you. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. So, baby. Yeah, baby. Uh, I thought about um, what you told me. Uh -huh. Issue at hand. Uh -huh. I have come up with an answer. Okay. I will not be pushed to do something I detest so much in this world. That means my answer is no. Baby, what about your mother? Leave my mother out of this. I'm a man, I'm an adult, okay? I do what pleases me. Okay. Since you're pleased to see me die in pain, be ready to have a broken home. Woman, let me remind you that I am the man of this house. Okay? I deserve some respect. I deserve to be spoken to with kind words. I will not take any threats. Baby, this is not a threat. I mean every word I just said. Watch your words, woman. Watch the words that come out of your mouth to avoid making any mistake. Baby, I have thought and I sat slept over this. Okay? I know what I am saying. I know what I want. What did you think about? I want you to sleep on. What are you saying? Do you realize that this should not be an issue between us? You are the one making it an issue! I, mean, I, have, I have a wife! I have every right to, 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 to contribute here! I, mean, I don't know why you don't want to give me the second thought! Contribute to what? If this is 
the whole idea of contributing, then I say no. Okay, what are you saying? And you go to my wife and you call it contribution, I say no, I will not do it, so let this matter play through. No, 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 not going to give me an answer to it now. You want an answer? Yes. Fine. Are you ready for the answer? Yes. The answer is no. Huh? No. No. There is something I would love to discuss with you. Okay, sit down now. Thank you. Sister, huh? it's about you and your husband. The way you both shouted at each other last night was nothing to talk more about. So as your little sister, I've come to know, is there any problem? Steph, whatever that happened is between husband and wife, okay? But everything is fine, trust me. Everything is perfectly fine. So you mean everything is okay? You're my sister. My blood for that matter. Hmm? If there's anything, if there's something going on, you know you're the first person I'll confide in. But I tell you, I put it to you that everything is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Okay. It's just that I was not able to sleep yesterday. Mm, what would you like to have? Hmm, let me see. Uh, what about fufu and white soup? How about that? <laughs> Sister, no, 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 you're kidding me. How can, where do you expect me to get fufu this morning? Uh, maybe when you go to the village, Mama will give you that. <laughs> Don't worry, whatever you prepare, I'll find. Okay, let me just finish up and dress it up. All right. See you later. Thank you so much. Here is a file you asked me to prepare. Thank you. Hello? Sir, marketing manager of Chase Global Limited came looking for you. Did he drop the letter I asked him to bring? No, sir. But he said he'll call you on phone to discuss something important. All right, you can go. Sir. Is there any problem? Oh, Tony, I leave. Leave. for the salon, so I'll soon be back. Please do take care of the house. Okay, auntie. Auntie, make sure you make good hair. I always do. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. Thank you. Well, I'm going to ask you all to oh, I'm fine, thank you. Um, is my wife at home? No, she went to make her hair. Brother, your suit is ready. 
no hungry. Set for work. My breakfast should be ready by now, right? Steph has taken care of that over an hour ago. Excuse me? Um, did I just hear you correctly? Oh yes, you heard me perfectly. Your food is on the dining table. And when does Steph become my wife and she now makes my meals? Whether she does or I do is the same thing. The most important thing is that your food is on the dining table whenever you need it. Baby. What has come over you? And why, why the sudden change in attitude? Why? Because they say change is a constant thing in nature. Yeah. Mm. I, don't this. I don't believe my, my loving wife has suddenly become strange to me. And I can't believe that my lovely wedding husband cannot see reasons with me. Instead, you want me to die of pain and regrets. Says who? Isn't it obvious you're being egocentric? Egocentric? Mm-hmm. Me? Egocentric? Hmm. Okay. Don't blame me, it's all my fault. I shouldn't have asked for your food this morning. Just... Sister, Sister Franklin speaking, I think something is wrong somewhere with what happens these days. Tell me, what is the problem? Um, Steph, I have told you before and I'm telling you now, everything is fine. Okay? Nothing is wrong. Sister, I am your sister. And you can confide in me. Talk to me. What is the problem? Okay. Since you insist, I will tell you. It's all about my brother-in-law's illness. This illness has eaten up my husband's money, whole lot of it. And is affecting him psychologically. <sighs> but sister, what kind of sickness that can make one reject his meals? Almost on daily basis. That's because he doesn't feel like eating. For days? Sister, are you sure? He is my husband. So I know him better than you do. Huh? Okay. If you say so. Yes, I said so. Yes, I should go inside then. I never took you serious. 
Sunduka, because I play with you all the time. That's why you think you can tell me anything, Abby. Look, I don't blame you. Ah, no, Steph, now. Hey, look, to God will you. I, I am not joking. I am serious. Okay, wait. <coughs> Look, this is my salary. Just keep it for me. Just to tell you I have trust in you and good intentions towards you. Eh? I called you out here this night because of what I've been seeing in this house. And I know I'm just a little girl, but with the look of things around, it seems you have something troubling you because you're no more my brother I used to know. Uh, nothing is troubling me, everything is fine. Brother, the four of us have lived in this house for some years now. So I am not Family is known for a happy family. But now, things has changed totally. Did Mama offend you on her last visit? Um, Mama did not offend me. And everything is fine. I don't think there's any cause for that. See, my wife, Angela, and I, we are like one flesh. Same love. Okay? So we have nothing to worry about. Just that, uh, maybe because... Um, Recently, I've got too much workload from the office. I think that's what's weighing me down. But apart from that, I'm fine. <laughs> Brother, you should better be. <laughs> this is my little sister. <laughs> so you're this caring. So you know when your brother is unhappy. Of course, not to my brother. Uh, you should go and get yourself a husband. <laughs> Honestly, this, this whole thing is really getting to me. I don't know what's going on anymore and I, I'm so confused. Ben, what is it this time? My wife. <laughs> My wife and I, you should see the way we live right now. We, we, we fight over meaningless things. We, I, we quarrel and shout at each other almost every day and every night. To make matters worse, she doesn't even make food for me anymore. She sends her sister to make my meals. Can you imagine that? Honestly, Ben, um... I don't know how you feel if I can tell you that you are the cause of your problems. Yes. A simple task that your wife asks you to, to, to do for her, which is completely in support of what that one knows up to my head. Finish. That's just only that. Look, do you think it's every woman that will allow their husband to do such a thing? No. If you can't yourself a lucky man. So you believe this thing is my fault and to blame? Of course you are to, you are to be blamed. Can you say such a thing? Okay, fine. What if I decide to do this thing and something bad turns out? Eh? Um, when we get to that bridge, we will surely know how to cross. So what are you saying in essence? Save yourself distress. Do what others do. Well, you know me. I'm not the kind of person who does what other people do. I do things that please me. Ben, not only affects and influences the way people live. If it does, then you don't have the decision to make all alone. No! Anyway, when you're done with office work, give me a call. Let's hang out and take one or two bottles, man. Come on. Be happy.
Mas kasi tayo magkanay. Uh. Where are you coming from? And what was the meaning of that attitude you put out there? Well, it's very simple. I was silent because your question was completely irrelevant. Really? Okay, I'll ask you again. Where are you coming from at this time of the night? I owe you no explanation. You owe me every explanation because I am your wife. I'm not your slave. And you will not dictate to me in my own house. We've had a peaceful home until you came up with this stupid idea of yours that keeps you on balance all the time. So it shouldn't be a problem if I go out there to seek a balanced mood, okay? Oh, yes. so you're not looking for a home away from home? Fortunately, yes. Until you become friendly again. Is that how you want it? That is how you want it. Hold on, please. Allow me, I want to rest. This thing t turned out like this. Why? Imagine my happy home being turned upside down almost on a daily basis. I no longer have peace in my house. No peace with my wife anymore. Am I really doing the right thing as the man of the house? Ben, you just have to do something before it gets out of hand. Father, please give me my own children and save me from this embarrassment, this trauma. I'm tired of the miscarriages all the time. Please, I need a child, a child that will stay. I think I know what to do. I know exactly what. See you set for school. Nice. Did you see my wife? No, I haven't seen her this morning. Mm. Is there any problem? Uh, no, no, not at all. Okay, take care. Look, maybe I'm sorry. 
your head? Since you didn't do anything to me, then go. I'm fine. Pretty good. <laughs> good afternoon, Auntie. Good afternoon. I'm in a pretty good mood today, okay? You know what? Why don't you just continue with the dishes while I finish up with the cooking? Because my husband is out there hungry and I need to serve him food. <laughs> okay? Oh, sister. Oh. Yeah, what's up? And what is this that of wings this in excitement? Oh, well, never mind. It's between my husband and I. Don't be jealous. Don't be. <laughs> okay, if you insist. But it's just that I've not seen you this happy for a long time now. Okay, let's just say something extraordinarily happened to your sister today. That is so, so good. Honestly, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and I believe this thing that is actually making you this excited is the same thing that weighed you down since, right? Come on, sister. Come on. I feel I told you the reason. It has nothing to do with this. Trust me. Nothing, absolutely. Okay, it's okay. The most important thing is that my sister is happy. And I'm happy too. <laughs> yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. So, no, 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 no. I'm here. I'm going to cook this food. Okay? Just do your thing. Okay? Fine. Oh, happy day. Oh, why did you keep that pot? It's dead. It's dead. Okay. Oh, uh, let's get it. Don't you think you're escalating the whole issue by the decision you've taken? It could be fatal, you know, if you don't give to them. Oh, my brother, what do you want me to do now? You're not one guinea. I have no other option. I can't just sit down and watch my, my, my family get torn apart. No. You know, the, the love, the peace that I shared with my, my wife, all gone. It's killing me, honestly. It's affecting me mentally and physically. I'm torn up. And you think being deceptive could bring back your happiness. For how long will you keep deceiving now? Tell me. My brother, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but as you always say, when we get to that bridge, we shall cross it. Oh Ben, you, you're already at that bridge. And whatever decision you take right now could get things shut out. Oh, I know what that means. You looking at your dream not being actualized? Oh? You're getting drunk. I'm confused. I must tell you, you allow the confusion to befall you, else you know what we'd have done to, to make you disappear. It's the next time. Don't make promises that you can keep. Let the world be your own. So, sweetheart, tell me. How far have you gone with your arrangement and when are you bringing the new girl? Uh, uh, <clears throat> soon. Soon. I'm, I'm actually taking my time so I don't make mistakes. Baby, so. don't you think we should involve your mother in this? I mean, she could be able to get us a very fine young girl. What do you think? Uh, that's unnecessary. <laughs> I can find a wife myself. Besides, I wanted to come as a surprise to my mother. Don't worry, I can handle it. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you. I promise you, I will never forget this. Thank you. It's all right. Anything to make my wife happy, I'll do it. Okay? I love you. <laughs> I love you too.
Are you ready? Yes, brother, I'm ready. All right, fine. Um, <clears throat> when you get to the village, make sure you spend some good time with Mama. Huh? Find out exactly how she's doing. Okay, brother. If the sickness is quite serious, then you may decide to bring her down to the city so she can get better treatment in a better hospital. I will. Okay, fine. Let me take you to the park. So tell me, when am I visiting your house? At least to meet with your auntie. Well, we will have to plan on that later. You know I don't live with my parents. So that means you have to invite me over first. Why? Because you have the right to attend to visitors in your house. Me? I don't have that right because they are not my parents. Well, you know you don't start something from the end. You start it from the beginning. And your house stands first before mine. I see. So do you see the reason why you have to be seated first before we come over to my house? All right, no problem. You're welcome anytime. Okay. As you can see, I'm really hungry and famished. Let's start going already. Do you like food? Oh, you know what I make you go, Abby? Okay. Let's go, Jerry. Okay. How will I stand my wife? If she eventually finds out that I'm not serious about this. Ben, I think you have taken the wrong step because this could be making matters worse. I mean, what do I do now? Do I tell her I'm no longer interested? That I was never serious about this? Alex could be right, you know. Oh my God, Ben, you caused it. I should have stood my ground initially. Ada, since you told me what you called good news, my mind has not been at rest. To think that you could ever tell your husband such a thing after my advice. I'm baffled, truly. Mama, I know what I am doing. Mama, I can no longer stand the threat of my mother-in-law to my husband. Mama, I don't want her to, to see it like I'm the one holding her son from getting a second wife. Mama, do you know that I no longer follow my husband to the village anymore? Ada. You're taking this thing too hard on yourself. But let me ask you a question. Has she ever confronted you on this issue? Yes. But, but not that harsh. But Mama, what other confrontation do I expect? Other than the one she gives to her son. Mama, she's speaking to me directly. You see... <laughs> You make me wonder if you still pray. Because you sound as if it's the end of the world. You're sounding as if you have given up. That you, you can no longer conceive. Mama, I know that I will conceive. But for now, I just need peace in my life. I need peace. I just need peace. 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 Be very honest with me. Are you truly at peace with that suggestion? Yes, Mama. Yes, for now I do. Until God chooses to give me a child, I, I have peace. So, has your husband started making arrangements? Um, yes, Mama. That's why I felt that I should let you know first. Ah! ah. God! 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 Why are all these happening to me very soon? My daughter was sharing her husband with another woman. God! God! Oh, no. Mama, it's going to be well. Everything is going to be fine. 
please. Ah. Mama, please sit down, please. Hey. Are you through with the food? Yes, yeah, I'm through again. Thank you. Sir, boy, you didn't touch your food. Hope all is well. Uh, uh, yes, all is, all is well. What's really happening? First, it was my sister, and now her husband. I thought she said everything has happened. And why is the husband losing consciousness every minute of the day? Without being told, I know something is wrong, but my sister has refused to let me know. Maybe it's for the married ones, as Sheria pointed out. Just maybe. I never knew that you are this good. <laughs> In fact, let me pray for you. Eh? Our oh, 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 please stop that rubbish. What's the meaning of that? I hope you're okay now. Yeah. Yes. And the money is complete. Yeah. Very. So you better go now before my uncle comes back and meet you here. Yeah. Mm. I am completely disappointed. I mean, how could you have allowed such a thing happen when you fully know you're not doing the right thing? Come on, Steph. You're not a baby to have indulged in such act. You're not now. Evening. I am disappointed myself. I didn't know what came over me. I know I've done what no man has done before. And believe me, it's seriously haunting me. <laughs> why won't it haunt you? No, tell me, why won't it haunt you? When you have allowed yourself to be tempted by the devil and he has planted his ugly seed right from that very day. I won't let that happen again. I promise. I won't. Only if you will agree with me. I know how these things work. Oh. I know. It is better you don't just get involved at all. Evening. Evening, are you saying I did that intentionally? Evening, come on. This could never happen to anyone. Even you. God forbid. Sophia, never in my lifetime will I allow such evil before me. Never. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, just pray it doesn't happen again. Stop crying now. You make me cry too. I didn't know what came over me. I didn't. I'm not saying it's entirely your fault, okay? Come here. I'm crying, it's Steph. Sister, good morning. Good morning. Are you okay? Yes, sister, I'm okay. Are you sure? I'm perfectly okay, sister. Okay. 
Okay. This gets me some apples in the fridge. Okay. Sweetheart, have you noticed Stephanie's behavior recently? No. Why do you? The other day, I, I saw her, she was down in deep thought. And the next time I saw her, she was vomiting. Though she didn't notice my presence, but there's something wrong. Or did she tell you that she was ill while I was away? No, no. She never mentioned anything like that. But I don't think there's anything to worry about. Wow. But, um, Stephanie is an adult. Yeah. I believe she can take care of herself. Very good care of herself. And I think that's why she didn't bother to tell you. To be something minor. Mm -hmm. But you, you can go ahead and ask. For some time now, your behavior has changed completely. Every time I ask you, you tell me everything is okay. When we both know that nothing is fine. So I ask you, is there something you need to tell me? Sister, I am fine. Nothing is wrong with me. It's just a slight fever, which I've already taken care of. There she goes again. Nothing is fine. No, 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 no. Nothing is fine. I ask you, you tell me everything is fine, like I said. But at the end of the day, I see you at the backyard vomiting. Oh, yes, I see. I have been watching you. 
Stephanie, I am your sister. I am your blood. You, you can confide in me anytime, any day. I am here for you. Please. Sister, what else do you want me to tell you? I've already told you that I'm fine. Okay. No, 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 it's okay. It's all right. If you insist, um, okay, so get yourself prepared. We'll go to see my doctor for checkup. Sister doctor? That will cost a lot of money. Besides, I'm fine. Hello? It is my money. My money. Okay? Go get yourself prepared. We're going for checkup. Capish? Let's go. Madam, Doctor. the result here indicates that she is six weeks pregnant, coupled with a slight malaria. Doctor, please, I, I did not hear you clearly. Please, can you repeat it again? Please. I said the result here indicates that she is six weeks pregnant, coupled with a slight malaria. Pregnant? Yes. Six weeks? <laughs> Responsible. I'm not responsible. I'm responsible. I'm responsible. I'm stupid. Take it easy, madam. Please take your time to talk to her as an elder sister. I'm not responsible. I'm responsible. I'm responsible. Take it easy, madam. Please, this is an office. Remember, shouting at her will not solve this problem. Take your time to talk to her as an elder sister, and then you will find out who the person is. I'm going to name the results. Give me the results. You're pregnant now. Where your ma? I feel it. to yourself why don't you disclose who is responsible for your pregnancy or do you want to have an illegitimate child 
No, sister. Okay, fine. Just tell me, please, tell me who is responsible for this child. So we can follow him up. You know, men of these days, once they hear their girlfriend is pregnant, they take to their heels. Sister, I am so ashamed of myself. I just feel like killing myself. Shh, don't, don't you ever say that again. Don't say that. Besides, that is a strong word for a woman to use. You don't have to be ashamed of yourself. I am here for you. I know it's a strong word to use. I know. But it's the best one for me to use in this kind of situation. Since I don't know what to do. Look. You know what you're going to do? You're going to tell me who is responsible for this child. So that he can take care of his responsibility. Sister. This is not a responsibility. Or stupidity. I should be blamed for it. Dema. Good afternoon. Um, please, my dear, do you know of any Stephanie? She goes to the same extramural class with you. Is it the slim, light-skinned girl? Exactly, exactly. Please, um, have you seen her recently? No, ma. I've not seen her for quite some time now. Okay, do you know anyone that is close to her that can speak to, 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 to know her whereabouts, please? Uh, I think Evelyn will be in the right position to help you, ma. Please. Who is this evening? Oh, that's her. That's her coming. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank yeah, you so much. I was meant to understand that you're very close to Stephanie. Yes, ma. We are very, very good friends. And in fact, she's my bestie. Ah, your bestie. Yes, ma. You guys are quite close. That's all right. Um, I want to ask, do you know if Steph has any male friend? No, no, no. Stephanie doesn't keep any male friends. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the only friend she has. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, there's something I really want to discuss with you. Very important. Um, your friend. I'm her sister. Oh. I'm the sister she lives with. Oh. And I also want to let you know that Stephanie is pregnant. Wow. Uh, no, 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 I'm not aware of that. She's pre Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Um, are you still going further? But probably I'll just drop you at home. No, ma. I was actually going down the road to get textbook, so I'll just start going now. Thanks for the offer, ma. You're welcome. And my regards to Steph. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Goodbye, ma. Honestly, sweetheart, the way you're going about this thing is not pleasing at all. One bit, it's not. Look, Steph is in a delicate condition. But whatever you say or do at this point may, may, may trigger a lot of things and will cause problems. Take it easy. Baby, for the past two weeks now, my daughter has refused to tell me who got her pregnant. Excuse me. Who's your daughter? Sorry, I was asleep of time. I mean, how can Steph, my sister, get pregnant under the same roof and I didn't know about it? 
Calm down. Steph might be pregnant, yes. But she, she, she won't be the first person. I mean, women get pregnant all the time. Okay, relax. I wonder why you're so far. Baby, I do not care if it happens to every woman. Steph is my sister. And I deserve to know who got her pregnant. And she's not talking. My point is, however you decide to go about it, just be careful. That's all. Take it easy. Baby, the way I go about it is my business. Not your business. Relax. Expect a positive result. Well, I'm Honest Steph, I don't think keeping this to yourself will do you any good. Why don't you just open up to your sister? At least tell her the truth about everything. To be less in this pressure on you right now. I know. But the problem is how to go about it. I can't stand the shame and disgrace I've put myself into. I just feel so shameless. Oh, stop it. Stop it, Steph. You're not shameless. Now listen, you just have to muster courage and face it. And you know, Nothing is hidden under the sun. Someday, somehow, the truth will come out. I know. But are you sure that will change the situation? Of course, yes, dear. It will. You save everything going on. Just tell her. And you know your auntie. You. If she finds out elsewhere, all hell will be left loose on you. You know. No one else knows about it apart from you. Man. And what makes you think I wouldn't tell her if the pressure becomes too much? You know, you know your sister now, you know the way she is. If you talk to me, please. Hey, stop, stop this, calm down. Tell me, have you met her before? Well, she came to the lesson time. Oh. Stop, will you let me talk? Calm down. She came to the lesson center and made inquiries about your pregnancy. Steph, calm down now. Stop this. <laughs> How did she find out we are close? Tell me, please. Tell me. Oh, we don't know now. We don't know. Maybe someone who knows we are close <laughs> told her I'll give her a link. Could have finished. Steph, stop this I'm now. Why are you crying? You want to make me cry now? <laughs> Steph, stop. <laughs> I'm not best with anymore. I'm here for you. <laughs> it's okay. Everything will be fine. God, I'm stop crying finished. already. Stop I'm this. finished. I'm finished. <laughs> Steph, you stop crying. I won't cry. Promise me. I will stop crying. Promise. Just do what I asked you to do. Tell her the truth about everything and I promise you will be fine. Okay? I will tell her everything. I'll come here. Promise you won't cry again. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm crying again. Hello, Lima. Hello, hello, young lady, please. One minute. Can you please remind me where I met you? Um, yes, ma, the lesson. Oh, the lesson center. Your evening. Yes, ma. Stephanie's girlfriend. Yes, ma. Oh, I can see you came to see her. Um, actually, I came to get a textbook, but since she doesn't have it, I'm leaving. A textbook she doesn't have? Yes, ma. But anyway, um, do you live around here? Mm, not really. I live at. The street down. Oh, area L. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. All right. It was nice meeting you then. Okay, ma. I'll see you around. Bye, ma. Bye. Steph, I also want to know if you have a friend 
be it a male or a female at your lesson center? Yes. Okay, good. So, what's the name of this person? Evelyn. Evelyn, a female. Okay, um, do you know where she stays? No, I haven't been to her house. Okay, has she come visiting? I presume she was the one I met at the gate yesterday. So, what did she come for? under the same roof and I know you're more closer to her so therefore I know she must have told you who is responsible for her pregnancy am I not talking to somebody <sighs> auntie she didn't tell me of anybody but 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 what okay okay, okay wait and um, Probably she told you not to tell me, right? Hmm? Auntie, I am not too sure, but I always see her with our kids, man. They play love together. I have seen them several times together. Even he gives her money each time. Huh? <laughs> It's man. Ndoka. Hey! Get this! Is, go and call me Stephanie! Go and call Stephanie for me! Hey! Jesus Christ! Stephanie! Stephanie has killed me! Stephanie has killed me! Ndoka! You should have told me you came to my house to destroy my home! Hey! Look of all people! this to me? Huh? Ma Madam, I'm innocent. I am innocent. You can't ask your sister. I did not do You did not do what? You did not do what? Huh? How can you impregnate my sister? Nduka, what have we done to you? So you are here to destroy my home, Nduka? Okay, if, if after everything I found out that you are the one responsible, what will happen to you? Madam, in fact, you can sack me. Sack me and let me not see good things I want in life. In fact, I will use my unborn children to swear. Nduka, Nduka, how many times did I call you? Madam, it didn't mean it, but it sounds like 1,000. Go in there and think about it thoroughly. Think it very, very well. Let it get into your head and come back and meet me later. Nduka, <laughs> hey, Nduka, you don't want to involve my rot. You don't want my problem. Just go in there and think about it because I will destroy you. Idiot. Stupid idiot. Hey. Oh no. Oh God, please help me. I'm so speechless. Now you want to take Stephanie away and subject me to a world of loneliness or cousin now? I don't understand what you're saying, you know. What brought us together was Angela. Eh? And now that she she's no more. Ma, 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 